Alright guys, today's video is going to be a QA. and a I'm going to be answering questions like what it's like to be a doctor, what my schedule looks like, as well as some fun ones like what special talents do I have. We're going to get to all of those after this intro. Alright guys, what is going on? Lecture of an MD journey helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. And today is a Q&A video, and I don't really do these very often, but I do have kind of a growing list of questions you guys have sent me through emails, comments, so I'm gonna answer a few of them, we're gonna have fun. If you guys enjoy it, we're gonna do it again. So let's get into the questions. So question number one is, what is my schedule like? Now, uh, for any of you guys that don't know, I just started my first year in internal medicine residency. And so um, currently I just finished my neurology stroke service, which is about a week. So that one schedule was pretty relaxed um, in terms of hours. I would go like 7.30 and finish um, around like 4.30, 5 o'clock. So hours wise, pretty good for being a doctor. Now in two weeks, I start ICU. So in ICU, usually I go at around four or five o'clock in the morning and go home at like seven or nine, especially if I'm on call. So hours wise, not so friendly. Um, so it really depends. Um, but those are what my hours look like. And it basically changes every four weeks because I'm on a different rotation. So I'll keep you guys updated. But if you want to kind of learn more, follow me on Instagram and also follow me on the email list down below. All of those will be added. Um, but let's get into the next one. One piece of advice to anyone trying to be a doctor? So that's a good question. Um, I would say always keep your why in check. I feel like the, the biggest reasons people kind of divert away from like going to this point where they love medicine, they can't imagine something uh, more they'd rather do to this point, like, ah, I'm not sure if this is worth it, man. Like the, the biggest reason for that transition is you lose your why in the process. And it sounds corny, but honestly, every time I walk into a room, I try to imagine my why in that patient. And especially if I'm struggling or if I'm having a tough time with that patient. If I'm struggling to study for an exam, I try to make, imagine my why in that exam. So if your why was important enough, big enough for you to continue down this line, then ask yourself if it's going to likely do the same uh, on any kind of struggles that you have. Um, but you're going to have those struggles. You need to make sure your why is like grounded uh, and you can easily remind yourself of it. All right, so let's get into some fun ones. Um, talent other people don't know that I have. So I'm not amazing, but uh, I am a pretty decent singer. Um, I have been growing up listening to my dad sing in the shower. That led to me singing in the shower, I think it's genetic. Um, and I've sang on like national stages, so on like church events and whatnot. So again, I'm not amazing, I'm self-taught, but it is something people usually don't know that I can do until we go out for karaoke and then I can show out the vocals. So uh, yeah, I like singing. And um, let me know down below who your else's favorite songs, uh, covers, whatever they may be. What's more difficult, med school or getting into med school? That's tough. Um, I would say med school, but that's just because med school has a lot of different challenges within it. You know, there's a studying, there's like the stress management, there's like the finding time for yourself. Getting into med school is tough. You know, I think it's like 2% of uh, uh, all college students get into med school and some obviously med schools have an even lower admission rate than that so med school is obviously challenging there's a lot of different elements that come with it but if you're a pre-med and you're applying i feel like man it's, it's hard uh but i promise you it gets better you enjoy the process and then watch the rest of these videos once you do get into med school to make sure it's not this tough do doctors forget what they've learned in med school Definitely. After a week of doing it, I've forgotten so much. Things that are like blatantly supposed to be obvious and second nature, it's kind of like sad to admit. Um, but it's part of the journey is that there is so much information, you can't expect yourself to know it. You just have to expect yourself to be okay with looking things up and definitely look things up. So if I forget a medication, if I ever get treatment, today I was treating somebody with high blood pressure and I couldn't remember like past like this second or third medication to give them. The patient either was taking it already or couldn't take it anymore. And it sounds silly to admit, but I just had to look it up. And once I looked it up, I was like, oh, okay, I could give her that. Um, and so that's just the point, you know, you're gonna have to be able to remember things, uh, but there's also gonna be things you're just gonna have to say, okay, I may not remember it, but at least I know how to look it up and what I'm looking at. All right, let's do some more. This is fun, guys. If you enjoy this, make sure you comment down below. If you want more Q&As, um, add those in the comment section down below too. What's the worst part about being a doctor? 
So this may just be me speaking uh, pretty, uh, being naive and like new. Documentation sucks, guys. Um, as doctors, you know, we're not trying to study all these years to be behind a computer, but that's part of just being a doctor too. You have to make sure all of your care is documented and people, other people can help your patients. So I understand it, but doing it sucks. You know, no one likes exercising, but everyone likes having a six pack. That's kind of what documentation is, except you don't get six packs. Um, so yeah, I would say that's one of the toughest parts of being a doctor. Others is like when you have a patient and you realize that you can't provide them as much care as you would like, sometimes we're very selfish and, you know, or have a little bit of ego and say, we want to do more for our patients, but our patients are okay with this much and kind of letting go. It's hard. It's not the worst part, but it's definitely tough. Um, so if you've ever experienced that patients, it's, it's one of the more challenging uh, situations you'll be put in. Is music good while steady? Um, definitely. Um, it really does depend um, on studies that say, you know, music is good, but it's also the kind of music you listen to. Now, you know, some people will listen to hip hop and do just fine. Others will find it a little bit distracting. So if you find yourself like humming to the song and then you're like three or four songs in and you realize you're still on the same page of your syllabus, maybe listening to that kind of music is not beneficial. I love instrumentals. I'll link uh, one down below. I think it's called like Bore or Boring Morning or something. It's like a nice, like, exciting, uplifting um, instrumental that's on YouTube. And I just watch a bunch of those when I study. So music is good. It keeps you concentrated. It's even better to listen to the same songs kind of over and over again while you're studying because then that memory kind of gets associated to um, so weird facts. What are the top qualities a doctor should possess? Okay, so with a grain of salt, I've only been a doctor for a week, so being asked this question is not fair, but I feel like some of my answers may hopefully still be true a year from now, otherwise I've clearly not paid attention. So I would say you need to listen and not hear. You need to care and not just treat. Uh, you need to know their name and not their, just their diagnosis. And last, and like I've learned this, especially in my fourth year of med school, is you gotta fight. You gotta fight for your patients. You gotta fight for insurance companies. You need to fight other healthcare providers that maybe just don't want to take the same level of care as you. Maybe they don't think it's significant. Sometimes you need to fight the patient. Like, you know, you have to understand what's best. And if the patient is kind of not meeting you in the middle, you have to make sure that you educate them and kind of, you know, struggle, go through that struggle with them. And lastly, you have to fight yourself. Sometimes you're going to be complacent. Sometimes you're going to have ego. Um, you're going to be selfish and you have to get away from that because again, it's all about the patient because your patient is fighting. If they're in the hospital for a reason, so just remember to fight. Um, and then the other three things that I mentioned as well. Favorite food, definitely pizza. I could eat pizza every single meal, every single day and not get tired. Um, but that's a lot of cheese and cholesterol. So the I am doctor and me tells me to calm that down. Um, favorite team, I love basketball. So, uh, and I love LeBron James. Right now it's probably has to be the Lakers, but I just love watching LeBron play. Uh, but I love playing and watching basketball. So favorite quote, okay. Um, so there's a really good quote. I don't want to say who said it because I can't remember. Um, but it goes something along the lines of, life is not about the amount of breaths you take, but instead about the amount of moments that take your breath away. Uh, it's this idea that it's not about how long your life is or how much time is in your life, but how much life is in your time. So I really live by that. Uh, I have no idea how my life is going to turn out. So I just try to make sure that the short moments here and there, I really make them count. I think that's a good stopping point, guys. Um, we can definitely do more Q&A videos in the future if you guys enjoy this. Um, fun ones, serious ones, just let me know uh, and we can make a video out of it in the future. But uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to get back to my coffee and I got to do some studying. But I will see you guys soon. If you enjoyed this video, first of all, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, but with that being said, thank you for always and being a part of my journey today. Hopefully, at least today, I was a little help on yours. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.